Hi, I'm Victoria and I will be your nurse today. I understand that you are here because you were poked with a needle that was used by someone with hepatitis C. Yes, I was, and I'm just really concerned because I don't know what hepatitis C is and what it does to my body. So what it is, is it's a virus that attacks your liver cells, and it produces symptoms that may not show up right away, but if the hepatitis C progresses further, some of the symptoms you may experience are fever, nausea, poor appetite, muscle and joint pain, and yellowing of the skin and eyes. Um, if the virus isn't treated in time, this is what could happen. We are going to talk about some of the risk factors associated with HCV. Being a healthcare worker and being exposed to bodily fluids, like bud, puts you at risk. Another risk factor is if you are an individual that uses injectable drugs and share used needles. There are many other risk factors, but these are a couple common ones. Here's the structure of a hepatitis C virus. The viral envelope is made of a lipid membrane. There are surface proteins on the envelope. There is a protein capsule that protects the genetic material of the virus. This is called the nucleocapsid. The single-stranded RNA positive is also inside. Here's the structure of a liver cell. Each hepatocyte has a nucleus, rough endoplasmic reticulum that houses ribosomes, which their function is to synthesize proteins from the messenger RNA. HCV has the help of lipoproteins to enter the liver cells. HCV and lipoprotein attach to the liver cell by binding to specific receptors. HCV enters the liver cell by receptor-mediated endocytosis, which then creates an endosome, which leads to viral entry. The viral envelope will fuse to the endosome, which will result in the release of the neo nucleocapsid into the cytoplasm of the liver. The nucleocapsid uncoats and releases the genetic material of the HCV. The HCV single-stranded RNA positive is then translated by the host's ribosome to produce polyproteins. These proteins either form structural or non-structural proteins for the HCV. The non-structural proteins form the replication complex. This replication complex replicates single-stranded RNA positive to single-stranded RNA negative. The single-stranded RNA negative serves as a template for the replication complex to produce many single-stranded RNA positives. The viral particle assembly will take place. HCV is then sent to the Golgi apparatus and packaged into an endosome with a lipoprotein and then is released into the extracellular matrix by exocytosis. The lipoprotein helps the virus invade other cells. The HCV virus invades adjacent hepatic cells through cell-to-cell -cell transmission. Hepatocytes are tightly, tightly packed together, allowing HCV to invade more easily. When hepatitis C affects the liver, it eventually attacks healthy liver cells. The liver becomes lumpy and stiff because of the scar tissue buildup due to the damage that the hepatitis C has caused from chronic inflammation. The hepatocytes regenerate, but the liver's connective scar tissue regenerates faster. The scar tissue obstructs blood flow through the hepatic portal system, and this is known as cirrhosis. Normally, the liver cell produces bile, which is needed to break down fats. Bile is combined with stomach acids and digestive fluid from the pancreas, which helps intestines absorb nutrients into the bloodstream. But when hepatitis C damages the liver, it prevents the liver from producing bile. The liver normally filters nutrient-rich blood, but when it is damaged from hepatitis C, it no longer filters the blood properly, and toxins, like ammonia, are no longer filtered out. Jaundice forms when there is too much bilirubin in your system. Bilirubin is a yellow pigment that is formed by the breakdown of dead red blood cells in the liver. Normally, the liver gets rid of bilirubin along with old red blood cells, but since the liver cannot process blood with hepatitis C, that is what causes the yellowing of the skin and the eyes. Hemoglobin cannot be processed, which can lead to iron deficiency, because iron is a part of hemoglobin, and the liver is not able to process iron. In addition, if hemoglobin cannot be properly processed, oxygen will not be transported around the body properly. In conclusion, we will go over the key concepts in this viral replication. Proteins are found in the cell membrane of the hepatitis C virus, as well as receptor proteins on the cell membrane of the liver cell. Lipoproteins are needed by the hepatitis C virus to enter the liver cell. The virus tricks the host cell to produce viral proteins in order for the virus to replicate. Homeostasis is disrupted because of the chronic inflammation of the body from hepatitis C, which damages the liver in many ways. The increased inflammation causes scarring in the liver, which leads to decreasing filtering of the blood. So we are going to put you on antiviral medications in order to eradicate the hepatitis C virus, which could lead to cirrhosis.
Thank you very much for the help. You're welcome.